Hello everyone, welcome back to Alam PowerPoint channel. In this video, I'll show you how to create a unique slider effect that I use for showcasing food from different countries. It's a piece of cake and I believe you can create it in just 5 minutes after watching this video, probably even faster. Alright, first of all, go to insert and then put one rounded rectangle on your slide. Get rid of the outline. Make sure it's big enough so you can put your photos over it. Right click, format shape, go to effect and then add shadow. You can also add a little bit of blur, size, and transparency. Alright, now insert your pictures. Here, I have 5 photos of food. Now spread the photos for a sec, so it's easier for us to edit it. Drag one photo to over the rectangle and make sure to adjust the size so they have the same width. Now go to crop option and then move the crop handle so it has same size like the rectangle. Here, let me adjust the size a little bit. Alright, now click on photo and then in crop option, click crop to shape and then choose round rectangle. Zoom in. Here, click and move the yellow dot like this to make sure the photo and the rectangle have the exact same corner shape. Zoom out. Click the photo on the center and then go to brush icon below the home tab. Click it and then click to another photo. Thanks to that brush icon, so now we have two photos with the same corner shape. Click this photo again, go to brush icon, and then click another photo. So basically, do the same thing till all of your photos have the same corner shape. Now, drag this photo to outside the slide and then replace it with a small one. Go to crop option and then move the handle to same size like the rectangle behind it. Now adjust the image size so that it can fill all of the cropping area. Once you're done, move the photo outside. Now replace it again with another photo. Still same principle. Crop it, drag the handle, and then move it. Move the newer photo to the center. Go to crop option, drag the handle, adjust the size. Once you're done, move it. Drag the last photo to the center, crop option, drag the handle, and then adjust the size. Okay. Now, while holding control key, select and block every photos, align it to the center, and then align it to the middle. Still not on the center yet? Drag it carefully to the top over the rectangle. Alright. Here, we need to duplicate the round rectangle below the photos. But, you know, the photos cover the part. Because of that, go to picture format and click on selection pane, and then click the layer. Now, Ctrl D to duplicate it. Move it carefully so that it stand above the photos. And then insert one normal rectangle, I mean the square one, draw it like this, and then send the round rectangle forward. Select and block the two shapes, and then subtract it. All right, now you have this kind of shape. Right click, format shape, and then in effect option, remove the shadow. Change the color to whatever you like. But here, cause this is about the food, I think the red is better. Now, insert one circle, put it on bottom side of the photo. Get rid of the outline, and then change the color to white. Alright, now, duplicate it to 5. Do it carefully with Ctrl D. Once you're done, select and block the circles. And then in a line option, distribute it horizontally. Right click, format background. Here, I change the background color to light gray. Alright, go to insert again, choose round rectangle shape, and then draw it on right side of the photo. Get rid of the outline, and then change the color to red. Right click, format shape, and then set the transparency to 20%. Insert new text boxes and then type your text. By the way, for tutorial purpose, I have my text prepared my clipboard. That's why I just paste it. Now zoom in, duplicate the circle. Hold Ctrl and Shift key and then make it bigger. Here, I change the color to yellow and then drag it to cover the circle on the left. All right, after you've done this part, believe me guys, next step will be much easier. So now, go to slide pane, right click here and then duplicate the slide one. Right click on the photo, format shape here, I'll rotate the photo by 20 degree. Just wanna be precise by the way. All right, rename the text to match the photo. You know right, this is sushi from Japan. So I just rename it like this. And then zoom in. Because this is second slide, drag the yellow circle to the right, second row of the circle. All right, now duplicate the slide two. On slide three, rotate this picture, same degree like the previous one. And then drag it to the top, outside like before. Again, change the name based on what you see on the photo. This is Rendang from Indonesia. So I rename it like this. Zoom in again, drag the yellow circle, to the next row of the circles. All right, zoom out. I think you know what to do in the next step. Duplicate the slide on the next slide, rotate the photo, move it outside, rename the text, and then move the yellow circle on the bottom side. Piece of cake, right? Then go to slide pane, duplicate it on slide five, rotate the photo, drag it to the top, rename it, 
based on what photo you see. And then zoom in, drag this yellow circle like this. We're almost done. Now select and block every slides, go to transition, and then activate move transition. In effect option, choose characters, and then adjust the duration like this. All right, let's go to the preview mode. You can always use this principle for another presentation. It can be your product, school presentation, personal branding, etc. Anyway, we have cool PPT design about personal branding. Just go and click the link on the end screen. Thanks for watching.